So, hello guys, uh, this is Yude. So, today we are going with Amazon internship interview experience. You know, uh, today there is Devya with us. She cracked Amazon internship opportunity through off-campus program. You know, uh, for someone uh, who are targeting offers through off-campus programs, you know, this experience is for them. So, let us hear from her. Uh, so, hi Devya. So, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Hi guys and hello everyone. I am Sri Devya, currently in my fourth year pursuing a B.Tech from Computer Science and Gatwee the project. So, I started, I actually discovered my interest in problem solving in my second year. But I consistently started solving coding on other platforms like Leetcode and etc. Uh, from my third year, I guess. Uh, so I recently appeared for the Amazon internship process of SDE role. And I got selected for the same. Yeah, that's a brief intro about me. Okay. Uh, so how did you uh, get this opportunity, Divya? So I uh, received a mail from this Amazon talent acquisition. Uh, uh, so like to apply for the SDE role. So I applied directly from the Amazon uh, jobs.com. Uh, I think yeah, it's Amazon jobs.com. Okay. Yeah, I, later I, after I, I applied my application, I got a uh, uh, like invite for an online assessment. And uh, coming to your interview, like uh, what is the process and uh, what are the number of rounds to be? Yeah, sure. So there were two online assessment rounds and one technical interview for me. Okay. Uh, like the, uh, can I uh, start the process, like yeah, detailed yeah, yeah. process now? Yeah. Yeah. So the first online assessment consists of uh, I don't remember exactly the number of sections, but it has like six or seven sections. Okay. So one section is uh, consists of one coding question and the other were like uh, DSA, uh, networks, Linux commands, etc. Mm -hmm. So uh, I didn't uh, know all the MCQs. I just answered the MCQs that I know. Okay. And uh, I completely solved the coding question, like all the test cases were passed. Okay. And uh, what is yeah. the concept that was asked in the coding question? Yeah, the question I was asked is, so I'll be given a number. Okay. So I need to convert the number into uh, another base, like a binary okay. uh, base three, base four, okay. uh, like from one to thirty-two, and I need to return the uh, like shortest string possible. Like uh, so far, I remember. Yeah, got it. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, and the other MCQs, like DSA MCQs, like if you have, uh, you know, how the algorithms in DSA work, you can answer those. Like uh, one of the question was they were given uh, some weights and profits and like non abstract problem and like what will be the maximum profit we can achieve. And uh, like, what will be the third step in, in a binary search uh, algorithm? Like, they were given a, they, they were given an array, okay. and so uh, like in third iteration, what would be the value of uh, mid, low, and high? Yeah, the questions of DSA were like this. And okay, okay. Uh, so yeah. yeah, so you're talking about the first round. Uh, so they yeah. have given one question, and rest of all are MCQs. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, so what about the next round? Yeah, the second round uh, was completely coding. Like, there were two coding questions. Mm -hmm. uh, the first question uh, was an easy one only, like uh, they were given two arrays okay. and uh, I was asked to return the sum of minimum distances like between the uh, elements of these two arrays. Okay. Like uh, just uh, this, like you can sort those and you can use the pointer approach. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. an easy question and all the test cases were passed. Okay. And the second question, uh, like I didn't uh, exactly remember the second question because it was a bit confusing. Okay. Like uh, there were, I mean, uh, it was a... There were a lot of combinations, I think. I, I've uh, actually uh, seen your video. Okay. I thought uh, like uh, uh, that was the same question I got. Okay. So like I just followed whatever I was asked in the question. Like I just hard coded it. Yeah. And only uh, out of 15 questions, I think nine or 10 test cases uh, were passed and remaining were giving TLE. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was about the second round. Okay, uh, so uh, I'll, I'll just say the that second question, uh, just confirm me like whether it was the same question or not. Uh, like, you know, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, basically there were three persons and uh, you'll be given attacks of those individual persons and you have to rearrange them such that, uh, you know, they should be winning. Uh, uh, yeah, is that the yes, same yes, question? Yes, yes, it was the same question, yes. Okay, okay, uh, yeah, uh, got it. Uh, yeah, it was a hard question and even uh, for yeah. me, uh, it was 11 out of 15 were passed, yeah. Okay, uh, so after that, you have received your interview round, right? Yes. yes. Okay, uh, so is there any gap between these online assessments and interview rounds? Yes, like uh, after like two days of filling the application, I got called for the, I mean, like I got the invitation for first online assessment. Mm -hmm. And after like one week, one week to 10 days, okay. I got this uh, like second round online assessment. Okay. And I was given a time of 15 days, like to attempt this second round. Uh, like after this uh, timeline, like 15 days is completed, I got like in two, three days, I got a call for interview. Okay, okay, uh, got it. Yeah, uh, let's move to your interview round. Uh, so can you explain yeah. it uh, briefly? Yeah, yeah. So uh, like my interview was done by uh, two interviewers. Yeah. Uh, 
like as soon as i joined the interview there was one interviewer and we were, like i was waiting for another interviewer to join for a minute okay uh, meanwhile the interviewer like made me uh, feel comfortable and uh, like asked me if i was okay and uh, like both of them after the second interview joined he, he told me that one will be leading the interview and just the second one will be monitoring the whole uh, interview process okay and they gave their quick intros and okay. what do they do and what are the designation and like i was asked to give my intro a brief intro okay so after i gave my intro <clears throat> like after 5 minutes it was it, does, it did not take much time like it was very short and quick intro okay uh, like i was yeah like we went for coding so i was given a live code link Okay. Uh, like they asked me to join the link and share my screen. Yeah. So uh, he pasted the first question, mm-hmm. uh, and like uh, he asked me to go through the question and uh, understand it. And later you can think for a while and you can uh, tell me your approach of solving it. Okay. Uh, so, so can you the, explain that question? Yeah, yeah. So uh, the first question was, I'll be given a string as an input, okay. like which can consist or which consists of like repeating characters. Okay. Uh, my uh, job is to compress the string. okay uh, like by uh, like by maintaining the like by maintaining the frequency of the consecutive characters like if there were three okay, consecutive okay. characters uh, yeah it was i think it was the daily question recently like uh, like yeah, two days yeah, before yeah. Yeah. it was a lead code question yeah yeah uh, yeah so if there were uh, three consecutive a's i need to uh, compress it like to three a yeah. and if there were more than nine consecutive characters and again i need to uh, like we start the refresh the count refresh the count okay okay yeah like uh, so this is uh, this is not a difficult question so i just uh, went to it explain whatever i explained uh, the uh, explain uh, like uh, whatever i understood in the question mm-hmm. so yeah uh, so i explained the, my approach like uh, i'll just go through the uh, consecutive characters and maintain a count and uh, like append this count on this uh, character to the result at uh, yeah. the result string yeah 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 he uh, like he was uh, happy with the approach and satisfied and uh, like asked me to start coding okay so like uh, it didn't take much time for me to code the this question so after i wrote the uh, program he asked me to give a high level explanation on the program like how it works mm-hmm. uh, yeah. later he uh, like he gave me a sample test case and asked me to do make a dry run on the test case yeah 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 so yeah after like i explained what what happens to every line of the code he was satisfied and asked the other interviewer if he was okay uh, he said okay i'm okay with this code and next like, next we moved to the uh, okay. second question Okay, uh, and yeah. how did you explain uh, your whole approach? Like, uh, see, in my interview, I took a whiteboard and you know I have uh, drawn uh, that whole thing and explained. Like, how did you uh, explain? Yeah, I explained in this uh, this live code the okay. link only. Like, I just uh, like I put some comments and I wrote whatever I want to yeah, explain. Yeah, 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 got it. So uh, yeah. in the text editor itself, you have uh, uh, written the whole comments and uh, you have dry run yeah, the text yeah. there itself. Okay. Yes, like while while making the dry run, I just put some comments like what what will be the Uh, next iteration what will be the result now what will be the result of this line so okay. i have written beside like by putting some comments yeah yeah what uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what about your next question yeah the next question uh, like first uh, the question was like this so uh, there will be uh, some uh, amazon uh, teams like amazon employees okay. and i will be given a relation between the employees mm-hmm. like if uh, a1 b1 is given a1 is related to b1 mm-hmm. likewise so i'll be given these relations of these employees in a like array okay. like like an m by 2 array mm-hmm. uh, so my job is to find the number of teams in amazon okay like count the number of teams so yeah like i understood that this was like a graph based question yeah 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 um uh, yeah so like if uh, a1 is related to b1 and b1 is related to c1 and a1 b1 c1 like belong to a single connected component so they form a team yeah 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 so uh And I need to find the number of teams like in the given relations uh, array. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I explained like what I understood in the question. Mm-hmm. Um, again, and I said that I will be uh, solving this using uh, uh, like graphs approach. Like I'll make a traversal for every node. Like I'll yeah, make yeah. a DFS traversal. Yes. Uh, uh, like for every node, I'll maintain a visited array again. Look so mm-hmm. for for every unvisited node, I'll make a recursive call. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, make a like I'll maintain a count like for how many recursive calls I'm making. Yeah. And I'll uh, finally return the count, uh, so it will give the number of uh, connected components in this given graph. Yeah. Uh, so I explained this, and the interviewer was, was like, uh, "If you do this, uh, you won't uh, like you, you won't get indirect relationships in this. Okay. Uh, like if uh, one is connected to two and two is connected to three, then uh, will one and three will be uh, considered as same team in your approach?" Okay. He was he was asking this. Okay. I said yes, like yes. The, then like in a you know in a traversal. Yeah. Like we'll visit to every possible node we can go through from that uh, start node. Yeah, yeah. So I explained this, and he was like, he looked that he was not satisfied like what I said. Yeah. 
So, like, I just took uh, one simple uh, graph and explained how this recursive uh, calls work in this VFS. Okay. Uh, like how backtracking happen and how the recursive calls happen. Okay. And I explained it very, uh, like, on a very detailed manner. Mm -hmm. Uh, then like he was uh, like, okay, like how we are gonna store this graph? And I said that I store this in an adjacency list or adjacency matrix. Okay. Uh, he asked me, do you do you need this adjacency list actually? Okay. Uh, I said yes. I think I'm like I. I felt that without uh, storing it in an adjacency list, I couldn't do it. I said yes. I uh, need an adjacency list for me okay. uh, to know like uh, to know like which node I have to jump from this current node. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, like I, I took like twenty twenty five minutes to explain everything uh, in a detailed manner for me. Okay. And later, like he asked me to uh, start coding, and again you can explain. Okay. Uh, so I uh, wrote the whole program, mm -hmm. and, and it. It took five minutes, no, not more than five minutes. Yeah, five minutes. And like I uh, explained every line of the program, okay. uh, like for the given sample test case. Okay. Uh, yeah, then like he understood whatever I've explained and he was uh, satisfied. Okay. And uh, yeah. did they ask you about the time and space complexities? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah they asked me. Like both for both the questions, uh, they asked me all the possible, like for the first question, if like if the input was uh, A, B, C, D, E, okay. then my answer would be 1A, e, 1B, 1C, 1D, 1E, e, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So initially, I have a, if this length is five, and uh, if there are only one uh, repeating characters, I will get actually two times of the length. Yeah, yeah like uh, uh, like all those possible space uh, constraint complexity, time complexity, uh, I was asked, okay. and uh, same for this uh, second question, I was asked about time complexity and space complexity. Okay, okay, uh, got it. And uh, what is the difficulty level of these questions? These were easy to medium. I I will think okay. I like because the first question was not a hard question and. Okay. Second question was also like if you know uh, traversals of uh, yeah. graph, you can actually solve it. So it was easy to make the money. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. okay. Uh, and uh, what is your preparation strategy for this uh, Amazon uh, mm -hmm. interview? Okay, so like I didn't follow any like particular preparation strategy. Okay. Uh, like I've been uh, consistently solving uh, problems on Lead Code and then Hacker Rank on other platforms from my third year. Okay. So I was actually very uh, interested in problem solving. I find it very fun while I'm doing it. So uh, like after I received this call, I just uh, went through some like uh, websites like interview bit and filtered some Amazon interview questions and uh, solved those. Uh, yeah, that's it. There was uh, no special strategy involved. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, what is the total duration of your interview round and how much time did you take? Yeah, uh, this whole interview process. Uh, went for one hour. Okay. Uh, in that, like five minutes is for intro, and uh, uh, all the time, like uh, I took for explaining my approach and like what I've understood from the question, like what uh, what my approach is, and like making a dry run on the code. All the time, like all the remaining fifteen minutes uh, is for explaining my approach and explaining the program only. Okay. Uh, ten minutes, like not more than ten minutes, I uh, took for uh, writing this program. Okay. Okay. Uh, and. Yeah. Yeah, uh, how much uh, CTC will they offer if it is converted into full time? Uh, like I was not uh, given any um, CTC details for full time. I was just given the uh, intern details, okay. and I was actually not uh, told that this will be uh, full time. Uh, like this intern will be followed by full time. So I was not provided any uh, full time details. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. So any suggestions from your side, Divya, for someone who is preparing for this uh, Amazon internship experience? Interview. Yeah, my suggestion would be uh, like I, I like what I wish I should have done uh, will be like it is never too early to start programming. Like you can start from the first year itself. Like it uh, even before that, it is not an issue. Okay. So and try to participate in uh, as many contests or whatever like uh, hackathons, contests, and everything. Uh, okay. Be and uh, be honest with your preparation. Be honest with your learning. And yeah, because not only the Final company or goal that matters, like the whole journey also matters. Like yeah. equally matters. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. Be uh, curious to learn and all. That's it. Okay. Uh, and yeah. uh, you know, I heard uh, the conversion rate at Amazon is very very low. Uh, you know, I, I yeah. personally uh, consulted many people and they are saying it is uh, below less than fifty percent. So, uh, what are yeah. your plans? Are you having any uh, backup plans for this? Uh, like how you are seeing this offer? Oh. I don't know. I think I will try to give my best in internship. Okay. Try to be as active as possible, as uh, dedicated as possible. If I was fortunate, I it will be converted to full time. Okay. Uh, backup plans. Uh, I actually currently don't have any backup plan. Uh, I was appearing for other uh, placement interviews as well. Okay. 
if i was fortunate to get another company that would be a backup okay uh, so that's all about it uh, you know if you're still having any doubts you know uh, below i'll mention divya's linkedin id and uh, you know uh, for someone uh, what i would suggest is you know a uh, lot of people who only believe in problem solving you know they can target uh, this amazon campus because uh, amazon offer because you know uh, with only problem solving you could get into this uh, top mnc so my suggestion is uh, that one uh, so yeah uh, thanks for sharing your experience divya with us yeah my pleasure thank you so much